Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have 17 different settings that you need to change on iOS 14 right now. So these are in no particular order, so make sure you watch to the end to get all of the different tips. All right, so let's kick this list off with one of the best features of iOS 14, uh, and this is a setting that you should probably change. Hop into settings and scroll down until you see uh, one of your web browsers of choice, and we can set that to be the default. So let's say you like Chrome, uh, you guys can click into Chrome and then click on default browser app and you can choose what you want there. Now, if you like Chrome, that's cool. I recommend looking into DuckDuckGo or something more secure. I'm going to leave mine at Safari, but all you have to do is select one and that is now your default browser. And if you click on any link on your iPhone, it will open up automatically into that browser, which is pretty cool. Now, this can be done as well for email clients. So uh, look out for that uh, in your settings as well. Now, the next setting you're probably going to want to change, especially if you have people that uh, open your phone sometimes is the hidden album in photos. So if you open up photos here, you guys will see, uh, you will probably have a hidden folder right there. So you can hide specific photos if you'd like, and they will go straight into this folder, but there is a way to hide this folder. So you put your photos in there and then you want to hide the folder. You hop into settings, scroll down to photos. And if you scroll down just a bit, you'll see hidden album right there. If you toggle this off and then hop back into photos, uh, you will see right here that is now gone. So this is a great way to hide that album from people that might be snooping on your phone or something like that. Uh, unless they know to go into settings and turn it on, uh, they're probably not going to be able to find it. Now, this next setting is pretty important. Uh, I'm going to be having this in another video coming up soon on how to save battery and also how to protect your privacy. Uh, but hop into settings, scroll down to privacy right here and then click on location services. Now the feature we're going to toggle is called precise location. So if I wanted to, for some reason, not give the compass app my precise location, I could toggle this off right here and it will only know my general location, like maybe uh, my city, the radius around where I'm at. They will not get my exact address. So this is great for certain apps, maybe weather apps that don't need to know your exact location, like down to your street address, but need to know the general area. This is a great thing to have, but I'm going to turn that on because compass is kind of important for that. So I highly recommend going through your apps and making sure precise location is on or off, uh, depending on if you need it or not. Now, each time that you are prompted to give location access, it will have a little prompt in the top left. You can just click precise on or off and it will turn it on or off. Uh, I don't have that prompt right now to show you, but it's pretty easy to do. All right. So next up, when you get iOS 14, you're probably going to notice when you pull down your uh, top bar here that you have a bunch of empty space right here and maybe a couple of home icons up at the top. Now this is kind of a waste of space, especially if you don't use this very often. Like personally, I use one and honestly, I never even get at it through here. Uh, I use the actual home app or a different app. So to turn that off, just open up settings and scroll down until you see control center. Then just turn off show home controls and boom, you are back to normal with a clean clutter free control center. Now this next one is not necessarily new to iOS 14, but if you open settings and scroll down to messages uh, and scroll down just a bit, you should see something in here called filter unknown senders. And what this is going to do is anytime someone that's not in your contacts messages you, it's going to put it in a different folder, uh, basically in your iMessage app. So I don't personally use this because I've had f new friends and contacts and clients that are not in my phone's contacts that send me a text and then I miss their text completely because it's in a different spot. But if you want, you can turn that on if you'd like, but it's totally up to you and just wanted you guys to know that it is there. Now there's another awesome new feature uh, that will allow you to remove apps from your home screen uh, and just add it to your app library. So if I move Firefox Focus to the app library, it's no longer on my screen, but I can still search for it right here. It's actually right here in my recently added. Uh, so it's still there. I just don't have it cluttering up my home screen, which is fantastic. So I think you guys will like this. And if you really do like that, you can actually make that your default. If you head into settings and head to home screen right here, newly downloaded apps can be set to app library only. So this could be a fantastic move. If you don't want every time you download a new app, it's just adding it to your home screen. This will automatically just put it straight to your library and not your home screen. Super cool feature right there. Another cool one while we're in here is notification badges. Uh, I have those turned off for the app library, but if you wanted to see notifications for some of these apps, like the little badge icon, you can actually turn those on if you want. Next up, you can hide entire pages of apps. So if you're one of those people with like 30 pages of apps and you want to hide a bunch of those pages because, well, you don't really need them. You can just go into wiggle mode like this, click on this icon down here and just turn it off. And just like that, I am down to one page of apps. If I go to my other page, it goes straight to my library. Now this is cool because I can search through all my apps right here alphabetically or just type it in, or I can just go into these predefined uh, folders. You cannot edit these 
Uh, these are based on what the app is in the app store, if it's productivity, games, et cetera, et cetera. But look how much cleaner this is. This is a one page of apps iPhone, but I have so many more apps they're just not all cluttering the screen. And then if you want to undo it, you just simply uh, go back into wiggle mode by holding an icon, click on this, click the check mark, and boom, you have your pages of apps right back. No issues there. Now this next one is really cool. You've probably heard of it. It's one of the headlining features of iOS 14, and that is back tap. So if you head into settings, click on accessibility and scroll down. So you see touch, click on that, scroll down there and click on back tap you can actually change what it does. What should we choose here? Let's go ahead and uh, just take a screenshot. So we'll do something simple here. So now anytime that I double tap the back of the phone, it's going to take a screenshot. So I'm sure a lot of you guys use Snapchat and you've probably noticed when you take a selfie on Snapchat, it looks a little bit different than it does if you take one with the camera app. And the reason is because of image flipping. So I'm gonna show you guys how to turn that off so you can get your pictures to look just like they do on Snapchat. Uh, if that actually matters to you. So if you scroll down to camera, you will see a new one right here for mirror front camera. And if you turn that on, it will mirror it. So it looks just like Snapchat does uh, when you take those pictures. While we're here on older devices, you actually now have an option in here, but I don't have it because uh, this is an, a newer phone. But if you have an older iPhone 8 or something, there's a new option where you can actually turn on the ability to switch between 4K, 1080p within the camera app so that is super cool as well. Now here's one of the most important ones. This should be on by default, but you should double check to be sure. Head into settings and then scroll all the way up to your Wi-Fi. Click on your network and click the little I button next to it. Uh, and you should see something like this. I'm gonna put it up uh, on the screen right now. You will see something called private address. Make sure this is on. The only time this should be off is if you know what you're doing and you're on your own home network. What this does is it randomizes your Mac address for your iPhone. This way, if there was someone tracking you or a website or service that tracks you know, where your phone's been, this can help mitigate that by spoofing the Mac address of your phone. So a Mac address is basically the device address. Not gonna get too technical into this, guys, but you want this private address on because it will mask your true identity uh, of your phone. Basically, the true Mac address will be spoofed. So next up, let's talk about Siri because Siri did get changed. As you guys can see right here, it looks so much cleaner, but there are some settings you guys could change if you really wanted to. So go into settings, Siri and search and scroll down until you see Siri responses. Now in here, uh, you guys can see spoken responses. Uh, for me, I have mine set to only when silent mode is off, which is pretty much never because my phone is always on silent. Um, but you could change this to only with blank blank. I'm not gonna say it because I don't wanna trigger all your guys' phones. I have blank blank off. Um, altogether, but you, if you guys want, you could set it to only reply to you spoken with spoken word uh, when you say that. It's something that you probably want to change or at least look into if you're tired of Siri going off uh, in the middle of class or something when you accidentally bump the button. Now here's one you're probably going to want to turn off. If you head into settings, accessibility, and then scroll down until you see sound recognition. This is a new feature that will basically allow you to have your iPhone listen to certain sounds and if it hears like an alarm or something, uh, it will tell you. Now it says that it's all done on device and you know it's not constantly listening and sending it to the cloud, but honestly, this will just drain your battery. So may as well turn it off unless you are really hard of hearing or you're afraid that you're not gonna hear an alarm go off. Your phone can let you know. Uh, I find it a gimmick. It's not useful to me, but maybe to you guys it would be. But for most people, it's probably okay to turn off. Wow, we have gone through so many different tips and tricks for this video. Uh, there is just one more I wanna show you guys, it's in music. If you open up the song that you're playing uh, and you click this little button down here, and then you see this little infinity symbol, if you click that, it's going to basically give you an endless loop of similar music. So this can find different songs that you've listened to, some that you haven't. You can actually discover some pretty cool music there, uh, but this is a brand new feature in iOS 14. So if you're prone to just running out of music, like in your, uh, say you're listening to a certain playlist and it hits the end and you're like, dang, I wish I had more music, but I don't, just hit this button and it will keep cycling through basically endless songs that are similar to that genre, which is really cool. And I honestly think you guys will find new music here because I've found quite a few new songs to add to my playlist. So that's it guys. That has been the entire iOS 14 settings that you guys need to change. Let me know if you guys actually changed all of these settings or if you had some of them on already, or if you had already changed some of these on your own. I'm confident that some of these you guys didn't know about. So check them out. That's all I got for this video guys. Like I said, battery tips and tricks video is coming up next. So subscribe, stay tuned to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Peace.